Welcome back for part two of my two-part series on states of matter. So for part one, I showed you some links talking about plasma. Today's video is going to talk about links that you can use to apply the states of matter for a solid, liquid, and a gas. Okay, so I'm going to give you some websites where you can actually do virtual experiments online and look at more uh, details about what a solid, liquid, and a gas are on the internet. So why don't we go ahead and take a look at those now. So this is a website out of the University of Purdue in the United States. And as you can see here, it's got the descriptions of what the states of matter are showing, but all, showing a solid, liquid, and a gas here. Okay. Now, it has these small little circular objects here showing how the molecules move. And I'm not sure if it's showing on your, on your side or not, but I apologize for the gas one not being displayed. Um, but don't worry, because the next website will clear that up and show you how gas is applied. Okay, now I like this site because it gives you a really good overview about what solid liquids and gases are here. Okay, so I'm just gonna scroll down just a little bit here uh, just to show how it categorizes here, uh, gas, liquid, and solid here. And it gives just little notes here on, the, on this side here. You can see it talks about how gas is separated with no regular arrangement, how liquid, liquids are close together with no regular arrangement and how a solid is tightly packed, usually in a regular pattern. It also gives you information about how, for a gas, it vibrates, moves freely at high speeds. And I, I think in the circular object, it's so freely and moving at high speeds, it's just very random. And the liquid ones also shows that it vibrates, moves about, and they slide past each other. So you can see here, it's showing that on this website here. And for the solid, it vibrates, or it says jiggle, which I'm not sure if it's showing it moving at all a little bit, but it is there and uh, it generally does not move from place to place, okay? So I, you, I picked this website because it just gives a good outline about what the states of matter are for solid, liquid, and gas here, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is show you the website where you can actually do an online experiment from wherever you are applying these. Let's go ahead and take a look at those now. So here's this website and it's out of a school district in the state of Colorado in the United States here. And I came across this and I really thought it was cool because it shows how you can do an actual experiment on the states of matter online. So given the situation we're all in at this moment, many of us may not have access to an actual lab or even be in a classroom. So I thought this would be a good way to uh, do states of matter online without a laboratory or in some situations, a classroom. So when you click on the website, and I will leave links to these in the description down below so you can check them out. Uh, you'll come to this page here first and it just talks about states of matter. So there's two choices here and I'm gonna go to this one here that says states. Okay, and as you can see, it's showing you basically what, how to do an experiment with solid, liquid, and a gas. Now you have different atoms and molecules up here that you can look at and for the sake of this video and to make it easier to see i'm just going to stick to neon here okay and we're just going to apply what the definitions are uh, with this website here so as i said a solid is a tightly it's tightly packed usually in regular patterns and does not move from place to place so as you can see here it's applying that it's tightly packed it's not moving at all really from place to place, but it has got some vibration there. You can see some movement here, okay? Now, all I'm gonna do is just click on this part here, and now we're on the liquid. And you can see it's changed, and you can see there's more activity. And as the definition I said earlier says, liquids are close together with no regular arrangement. They also vibrate. They move about, they move about and they slide past each other. And as you can see, there is movement, and they are just kind of sliding around past each other here. Uh, and they're just more loosely free, okay? So again, I'm just gonna click on this here where it says gas, and now, if you weren't able to see it on the previous website, I hope you can see it now. This is showing you what gas looks like, and again, 
They're very well separated with no regular arrangement. They're vibrating as well, and they move freely at high speeds here. So as you can see, uh, maybe not moving at the fastest speed, but you can see that they're really moving freely and they're moving about here, okay? So I just wanted to share this website with you on States of Matter, uh, just showing you how you can do this. Now, I did say you can do an, an experiment. So if you click on down here where it says phase changes, you'll come to this. Now, it's still showing it in the gas state, okay? Now, you got this little cool little pump here. You can actually pump in more. Now, it's hard to see because it's moving around so freely, okay? But you got this little, um, I don't know what it is, like a furnace or something. <laughs> and if you move it down, ice cubes come up. And as you'll watch, it will start to become more compact. You can see they're slowing down. They're getting colder, okay? And you can see they're coming in now and they are basically have stopped moving, okay? So this is why I like this website because you can do this experiment online. Now the pump here you can use and you can put more in. Now you can see there are more coming because they're moving and I'm just, you know, pumping in more molecules here, neon molecules. And now they, but they continue to get compact, okay? Now, if you wanna heat them up, you just move this up and now here's the fire and boom. You can see they're starting to loosen up and move around more, just like what I had shown you earlier, okay? So I just wanted to share this website showing you uh, that there are sources, there's information out there on the internet where you can do experiments online and I just like this one a lot. So that's what today's video is all about. I just wanted to share some websites that show uh, what states of matter are uh, using uh, experiments that are online and they're free, they're accessible, and um, I had no problems getting to them based on my location here. Now, I do have a video that talks about states of matter more with text form, nothing real visual like what you saw here, but I will also leave a link in the description down below so you can go ahead and check that out. And I will also leave links to the uh, uh, website for Purdue University and from the one from the state of Colorado where you can check out both these sites. Okay, and again, I just wanted to, given the situation, whether you're at home or you're studying remotely um, with the classroom or you just want you just you know want to do something else, I wanna just give you these websites so you can look, uh, check them out. Okay, so that'll do it for today's video. And as always, thank you so much for spending part of your day with me. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video.